Tell me what you built. All right, so this is a 3D paint program. Um, it functions using ultrasonic transmitters and receivers. Uh, this is the pen that the artist uses to draw with. Um, it's got an ultrasonic transmitter on the front with a button that the artist can use to tell whether or not they want to be painting a stroke. Um, over here we have a stand that has three ultrasonic receivers on them. So these will receive pulses from the pen. Um, you can see we have three distinct locations. Um, these uh, are triggered into some differential amplifiers on a solder board. It will then trigger hardware interrupts on the microcontroller. Um, so with this, we can time the actual delay between the emitted pulse and the received pulse on each uh, individual receiver. Um, and this allows us to effectively trilaterate the position of the pen um, in real time. So once the microcontroller does some more signal processing, we do some mean and some median filtering, um, it passes everything up to MATLAB, uh, and we have a GUI in MATLAB um, with a number of different ways of visualizing the data. Um, so this shows some orthogonal projections of the design space. Um, additionally, we have a 3D space option. Well, before we look at that, why don't you move the pen around to do something yeah. with the pen. Show me what's going to happen so here. If we move just in the Z direction, you can see the cursor just moving in Z. Move back in X. Just around X. Okay, and then Y. Y. Uh-huh, very good. So now I'm going to move over while you while you do that operation again, so I can see what you're actually doing here. Sure. So you're you're perhaps 70 centimeters away from the sensors there, mm -hmm. and you're, so you're mapping a region of maybe a, a foot or two into the axes we're seeing over here in MATLAB. Okay, so draw something now. Okay, so uh, we could draw. A Helix, I suppose. These ways of working pretty well. Okay, so what you're doing, so now make that motion again that you just made. Yeah, Don't sure. draw, but just show yeah. me what you did. It's just kind of moving like this. So you were coming in towards the sensors. Right. Okay. And now, okay, so now let's go back over here. Show me the 3D version of that now. Sure. That's a 3D version. Uh huh. Um, additionally, we have like a camera mode, so you can use the pen to look around what you just drew. Uh, so now you're moving the pen and, and using that to control the projection. Right. Very cool. So let's see the stereo mode now. Okay, so this is two different stereo representations of what we're seeing. Um, on top, you have a stereoscopic view. Um, so you can use similar techniques with, like as to a magic eye to kind of cross your eyes and see the projection. And on the bottom, we have a red, blue, and eclectic stereo mode. And that would be used with the with the red, blue glass as the old style uh, 3D. Right. Very cool. You can select different brush colors, different brush uh, sizes, uh, dotted lines, solid lines, these sorts of things as well. Okay, thanks.